Capricorn, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. Alright, Capricorn. This is your reading for the next seven days. You can have Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watchers are also welcome here. Okay. Energy is fluid, so reverse the roles as need be. Alright. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, check out the community board. All right, I am running a special right now for the Cyber Week, so you can check out the community board for that special. Any other time, click the description box on any of my readings, and you can visit my website to book a personal reading. This video is attached to a playlist. Take a look around in the Capricorn playlist. If you like it here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to all, so you can be notified when I upload another video. Please like the video. I hope everybody is doing fine. All right, you got the two of swords in reverse. <coughs> you got the queen of pentacles, your own energy. You got a two of pentacles in reverse. You have the seven of wands. Mm -mm. You got the magician in reverse. I'm hearing rejection. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Page of Wands. Kind of came out. Okay. You got the Page of Cups in reverse. You have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Hangman. All right, you got Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's someone here, like rejection. I feel like someone here is upset because you are not coming towards them. You're not going towards them. It's like this person is very ego stricken. Like they're not, they're, they're not, no matter what they try to do to bring you back, it's not working. Um, roast, reverse the roses need be, okay? So whatever they're trying to do is not working. I feel like you're not even thinking about this situation. You like it, it, it's got like you are so past this energy that you like, you know what? I'm just doing me. I'm focused right now. You could be focused on, you know, money. You could be working, trying to build yourself up. OK, like, you know, wanting something very stable and solid with, with whatever you touch in finances or in love. <coughs> like you're not. You're not trying to juggle anyone and you're not trying to be juggled, okay? I feel like um, this person is sending energy your way. It's like this person is trying to block all of the goodness that's coming into you. It's like this person, like, they think single-handedly that they can just stand up and just keep, keep blocking whatever is coming to you by using dark magic towards you. Like somebody here is upset in reference to feeling like they're rejected or they're not getting your attention. And so being that it's it's not working though, right? And and it's so so this person is like trying to make you come in to them, like make you come talk to them or like make you need them or something like that. Like for with this emperor energy here, this is like a masculine energy. Um 
they could you know be very wise have have a position like in work that like their authority authority figure this person also could just be someone very well known for what they do could be someone spiritual you know like so it's like this person is trying so hard to make you need them because they feel rejected and they're they're running out of resources so when they did the the black magic it didn't work like what it, it, it had an adverse effect because it's like now you want to something different you want to something new and they could not manifest you back into the energy this person is going to reach out to you whenever you see this reading is when you're meant to see it but it's for the next seven days this person is going to send you a message here whoever this is that's trying to block you but it's like this person that they're going to send you a message and even though you kind of know like this person isn't right like when i say kind of it's like energetically you could feel this person isn't right but you may not have any hard evidence but i'm telling you <laughs> so this person isn't right but it's like when they reach out to you 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 don't have anything to say like you're not trying to rekindle anything you're not trying to you know get on the same wavelength get on the same energy you're not meeting them you know with the energy that they thought so they're reaching out because they're like man why why is nothing that i'm doing working um it's because the cycle is over and now it's it, you know like people can like work on you and and work against you so much that when spirit get tired spirit just be like all right cycle's over right and it's like you you're, you're getting good karma right now you're getting you're getting uh, an influx in blessings and an influx in and 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 all types of things that's happening in your life because it's your time okay um i feel like you are very careful about the decisions that you're making at this time um you're not just jumping out there you're weighing the risks of all situations and you're looking at this situation weighing the weighing the risk of it saying it do, it doesn't make sense it's it's not even worth me you know, risking myself, risking my energy, risking anything for this person. It's like somebody that's willing to do any and everything to get your attention, to bring you back in. So be mindful for that call. If you know that you're not into this person or interested in this situation, don't even respond. You know, like this person is desperately trying to get in your energy and get back into your good graces. So, um, you know, is it worth it? you know is it worth it so yeah somebody here is somebody you're like no nah, i'm not trying to do like you could be in a relationship and you're like no nah, i'm not i'm not playing i'm not trying to cheat i'm not trying to juggle i'm not trying to do any of that and this person is just trying to you know make you do what they want you to do capricorn you know all earth signs are stubborn so you like no nah, that's not happening <laughs> trickery just tried to come out so yeah it's like somebody's gonna call you with some type of trickery trying you know hey how you doing but they really trying to get back into your graces they trying to make you slip up and do something like this person is trying to um they have a motive so you already know it yeah the world you know you know the cycle is over don't repeat any cycles don't get yourself in any trouble uh the sun number one so capricorn i see you being very happy right now so i guess that's what that's the risk that you're weighing like are, are you going to mess up your happiness for whatever this is okay uh number 30 here the garden and the gate all right stepping outside uh in the number three stepping outside of your comfort zone um and just really living in the moment that you're in okay you got the number two here journey so yeah like okay yeah one two and three all right, so there's progression. I feel like this is a completely new path that you're on. You're going on a journey. You're stepping outside of the gate. You're doing what needs to be done here, okay? You you are stepping out of an isolation. You're thinking outside of the box, all right? So I feel like you're going to you're going into a completely different phase in your life. 
embrace it it's fun 39 and number 12 fifth chakra archangel gabrielle okay so so you are you are doing different trust your instinct okay in this matter here you have the thinking man number 46 or the number 10 so you know definitely make sure that you're you're um okay you're you're aligning so you have the number 23 all tied up you could be thinking about something that's an attachment now like you have some type of attachment now if you look at this attachment here this attachment is in is in their mind it's not it's not a it's not a, a physical attachment, right? Because if you look at the female on this picture, this is a spirit, right? This is this is a spirit. And so some of you guys could be attached to a spirit and you're always thinking about this and it's time to step outside of, of the box and move forward, right? But you, you're all tied up by something that's that that's holding you back that shouldn't hold you back. So it's time for you to stop holding yourself back and move forward with something, okay? All right, so let's see what you got for the next, for this week here. Sorry, that's my son, honey. I'm, I haven't stopped since earlier today, and I'm like, I'm not going to stop. I got one more reading. I'm doing personal readings, social media readings, YouTube readings. I've been working with the shrines. I done cooked dinner already. So, you know, those kids, when they full and they happy, they, they, they crump and they act up up there. But I done did my part. After this one reading, I'm done for the night, okay? I'm done for the night. Okay. All right, so. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Evil eyes, someone is wishing ill intent on you. So you gotta okay, this could possibly be a karmic that's in your energy. All right, and this karmic's mission is to deter you from what it is that you're doing, um, to throw you off balance, you know, to mess up, mess up what you have going on. How you would know who I'm talking about, this person could be carless. This person could, like, not have a car at all. You got a lot of messages that came out of here, so... I'm not, um, I'm not spinning again. Oh my God, I got a lot of cards. Okay. Um, okay. So I did lay my eyes on black magic and it didn't pop out. I don't think it popped out, but there is spell work. Okay. Spell work is right next to bankrupt. So there could be someone that's trying to do spell work on your finances. Again, as I said in the reading, there's someone that that feels like they can block all of the goodness that's coming into you. Like there's someone that's just trying to block everything that you have going on because you're not communicating with them. This person is trying to check in to see if the if it's working to see where you are um, in this process. You know, like what they're what you're doing. Are you still afloat? Because the stuff that they're doing is not working. It's not bringing you back to them. Okay. This person literally is trying to drain you for everything that you got, make you lose everything that you got. Okay. And they talking shit, but having romantic thoughts about you. Okay. This could be someone else. But this could definitely be this person because this person is like, this person is like forcing their way. Rumors, okay, there are rumors being spread. All right, so this person could be talking negative about you, but they really want to be with you. But because you're not being with them and giving them what they want, they're, they're angry. Clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes stuff up. 
Yeah, this person wants to be seen and heard. Divination abuser. So with the emperor there, remember I said this person could do something spiritually. So this person could just be divining, like checking into your energy. What spirit is saying is they're not getting the information that they really want to know, right? So it's not really telling them what they what they need to know. And, and the information that it's giving them, it's kind of like throwing them off. You are protected. I'm hearing like your spirit guides are like fed up with this particular individual. So while they keep trying to check in on you, it's not this drama star. Yeah, like this person is very dramatic here. Could be someone with fire in their chart, okay? A water, dust it off, right? That's what spirit is saying. Dust it off, you're okay. This person is in, in the entertainment industry. Again, I told you this person has a has a, a, a job that people look up to them or they do something that people look up to them. They're in their head, over analyzing, um, overthinking, over analyzing, and stressed. All right. <clears throat> so this person is trying to figure out like how to get you back. All right. Um, this person is coming in with an offer. I told you they're coming in with the offer. Leave it where it's at. This person is carless, no car repo, um, car issues or something like that. You'll know who this person is. All right. Um, dirt digging. Okay, looking up dirt on you, vice versa. So this person is trying to figure out everything about you. Kicked out. Okay, so this person lived with you. You kicked this person out. This person lives with you now. They're going to be getting kicked out. Okay um kicked out of the house like go self-reflection take a moment to reflect on yourself okay and the things that you left in the past something has come to a complete end let it go okay um memories flashbacks trauma side effects somebody's being haunted by this being over so they they could have thought that they were going to get you back but they're not all right this person is always partying okay um i feel like your head head is in the clouds you're not worried about it okay um Kids at risk of being taken or about to reporting something, neglect or abuse. So somebody could be trying to report something on you, you know, just to make you feel a way. Like this person, like this person, you're unbothered. But this person is so freaking miserable that whatever they're trying to do to get your attention or what, it, like they're trying to do any and everything to get your attention, to make you come into them and you're not, like, you're not, you're not folding and, and they are like mad as hell so be mindful that you are protected you're okay let the miserable stay miserable he who angers you controls you that could be he or she right he or she who angers you controls you so don't let it bother you don't let it get to you just keep moving forward i shame